We are on our way to Cloudcroft, a one night stopover uh, while we are traveling to Carlsbad Caverns. Coming from Las Cruces, the second largest city in New Mexico. Um, over to Carlsbad Caverns, we've got to go across a couple passes and uh, a little bit longer than I want to drive in one day, so we're stopping over to uh, in Cloudcroft for a night to rest up. What did you think about White Sands? Mm, it was fun. What was fun? Sledding. Like, you like sledding at White Sands? <laughs> yeah. yeah. When you're driving in the car, what do you do to not get bored? Look out the window and play. So we were driving through Alamogordo looking for uh, a little place to stop to make lunch and get out and rest for a minute. We found a little street fair. So we're gonna stop, walk through the little street fair and see if we can find some lunch and just check it out. After doing the little street festival, we were gonna head to the playground and we saw that playground was advertised in some of the brochures and stuff as a great playground where uh, if you've got plenty of energy to use up all your energy and the Nirvana for kids or something like that. So we drove over here and we got to the spot and it's gone. It's completely gone. They've torn it out and there's just a big dirt patch left. No playground. We made it to a campground. Silver Lake? Silver Silver Lake or Silver Campground outside Cloudcroft. Um, it's a nice forested, forested with pine trees and a number of the camping campgrounds up here are not open. Apparently it's early in the season because we are at 8,600 foot elevation. Actually maybe higher. Or higher. We are higher. Because it's, so it's going to get cold tonight. It's sap. That's red sap. What are you doing with the sap? I have it. Sap on a stick? Yeah. Mmm, lick it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Does elk poop look like? I don't know. Maybe it looks like that. Look at how big it is. Elk poop? Daddy, put your head by it. Why? We're at, <laughs> camping at Brantley Lake, just above Carlsbad. And today we're gonna take a day trip in, <laughs> into the Living Desert Zoo. What do you expect to find there, Maddie? Uh, a lizard. A lizard? What kind of lizard? Mm, a desert lizard. <laughs> a desert lizard. <laughs> it's a koala. Supposed to be a playground at the river that we're going to check out. We haven't had good luck with playgrounds lately in New Mexico, so hopefully this one is still there. <laughs> and maybe if we have time, we'll take a little historical cruise up and down the river. Eh. That'd be fun. Uh -huh. 
Will you fall off the boat? No. What else do you want to say? We built little houses out of rocks. And this meant a bunny and a bunny went in mine. It was so cute. Do you guys see what happened? What happened? A bunny went in my house and jumped into my little girl's room <laughs> in my house and knocked, I think it knocked the little boy off. But it was in the girl's room, I don't know how, but. <laughs> and it jumped into the lake. Well, not, a little, a little one. A rock, like, out of the water that we washed our hands. <laughs> Lightning dove and the dove has permanent wing injury and cannot fly. Another bird was being aggressive toward the dove, so the dove was removed from the walk through Avery. Avery. <laughs> they have a walk through aviary here with a couple bird uh, a couple so birds. Cute. And a very, very friendly quail that walks right up to you. Super cute. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. Prey here, turkey vulture and swanson hawk and red-tailed hawk that are uh, very, very Alec close Lear. up. So you can see them really well. All right, behind me, you see several soap tree yucca plants, and they were used extensively by the natives. Um, the roots were pounded to make soap. I believe sometimes the roots were roasted and eaten. Uh, the fibers of the leaves were woven together to make nets, to, especially to capture rabbits in and the flowers and the young stalks were also eaten by the natives. This is the selenite rocks. This is where the white sands come from. It dissolves as the water passes over it. This is a banana yucca. It has fruits on it that look a lot like banana. Um, apparently, they're really good to eat. They have a succulent greenhouse here. 
and it's really amazing. It's, it's hot. really hot inside. It's 105 degrees. 105 inside right now. to go exploring to find the different kinds of um, scorpions that live in this cave here. Very dangerous job, but I must risk it for science. Unfortunately, our brave adventurers died trying to discover what different types types of scorpions live in there. A giant tarantula has killed her. Very sad, but we have learned that there are three kinds of tarantulas in there, so it was also a success. Out. <laughs>